So it's been a while since I've actually been in this part of my room uh, recording another tabletop. This is where all the tabletops come to be reviewed. And if you are new to the channel, this is how they are recorded. Um, now that Halloween is officially over, sadly, um, my channel has officially kind of transitioned over into the Christmas section. Um, and while I have made a couple Christmas videos prior to this time, uh, that does not mean the Halloween content will stop, but you will probably see a lot more Christmas stuff, at least until the end of this season for Jimmy Bones Season 2. But with that being said, what I have in front of you all is the new, well, I guess you could say kind of new, uh, the 2022 version of the musical drumming Nutcracker made by Jimmy this year um sold at walmart now i know there have i think this guy has been produced i believe i think a little more than a year i know last year he was sold at tj maxx and i believe he was sold one more year prior now you could uh correct me in the comments in the comment section below but this little guy i know existed for a little while now and I've wanted him for a long time. Mainly that's because I, besides Santa Clauses, I absolutely love Nutcrackers. I love every awesome, unique look that companies give a Nutcracker every year, and I think they are very cool. Um, this little guy was no exception. He was um, very interesting to me. He was a simple but yet really cool little concept, and the fact that he was being sold at Walmart this year was really awesome. So if you are interested in one, you can go pick one up this year at Walmart instead of at TJ Maxx, because there was a Walmart everywhere, so it's really cool that they decided to pick this little guy up to sell this year. Um, one thing I would definitely say is that I don't think there is any cosmetic differences between the models prior compared to this year's model. This little guy is really cool though, and I have a, my buddy Nathan the Haunter, I do believe has one. Now, I'm sure he can also elaborate on that. Um, I don't think there's any cosmetic differences here compared to his that was sold at TJ Maxx. So, at the end of the day, it's still the same thing. It's just sold at a different store. But it's still cool that they decided to bring this little guy back. And I had the chance to finally get him. So I wanted to give you all just a quick little close-up of this guy. Looking at him, he has a very plasticky look. But he does have the real hair and a real beard. Which is very just kind of like whacked out, I guess you could say. But um, his mustache, though, is just kind of like a glued-on flat, kind of slight fuzzy mustache. Um, but besides that fact... It's, it, it does the job, and I like that. Um, his face is very simplistic. He has little rosy cheeks underneath his mustache, and um, there's not really much detail besides his eyes there. Um, but besides that, it looks really good. Um, I do love the little holly they gave him at the top of the hat. Um, his hat is uh, like, a, like a dark gray, and it also matches with his boots. Um, and the hat is surrounded in a nice little golden painted framing, or I guess you could say rounding. Um, and he has the golden shoulder pads along with the nice red coat with the undershirt that matches his holly on top of his head. Everything collides very well together and even the drum. There's nothing that looks off about this guy. Everything fits together very well and I like it. I love the simplicity and I, I, don't, I don't think it's too complicated so that's what makes him really cool. Um, and again, considering the fact that I have a Nutcracker collection or a small one, I think he'll fit in perfectly. So I'm just going to spin him around here, let you all see him from the side. He is really cool looking. Um, I love the way he looks. This is his little activation button right here if you're interested. Um, here's his board. It's a flat base. It kind of reminds me of the flat base dancers that they made back, I believe, in like 2006. Um, and as you can see, there's the Jimmy logo right there and it has a little bit of information at the bottom now this guy does have a sensor and it's right here on his legs right right here right between the top of his boots um and if you spin him around this is what he looks like from the back he has a, a compartment down here for your batteries and if you want to switch him over the sensor you have to lift up the hair here there's a switch up underneath the hair and you have to kind of grab it from the side and pull it up 
But see, there's the there's the switch. I found that kind of interesting they did it that way, but I mean, it works and it's hidden, so it's not too noticeable. I kind of like that though, because it makes him feel a little more like a genuine nutcracker. So at the end of the day, this little guy is really cool. And he's a quick he's a quick little snag. I believe he's about 19 or $18 at Walmart. So if you're interested in picking this little guy up and you collect nutcrackers, I would highly suggest do it. Uh, Jimmy did a good job on this little tabletop and I definitely think he deserves a lot more appreciation for what he is. Um, I love the fact that he sings three songs from the Nutcracker and they're all remixed instead of just the simplistic original ones. Even though the original ones are nice, I do like the new kind of mashup they did with this music. But anyways, that's all I really have to say about this little guy. Definitely recommend him. And I would definitely say get him this year if you can, considering the fact that he sold at Walmart. So he's a lot more, um, I guess you could say, exclusive to everybody now instead of just one store that not everybody has in their area. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. I always try to upload weekly, never try and disappoint you all. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. This is Jimmy Bones signing off for the new Christmas year. Hope you all enjoyed this video. There's still plenty more to come. Anyways, y'all, that's it. See ya.